how difficult can this be? What is up you guys? Welcome back to your average gents. My name is Evan. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about, you guessed it, fragrance. Specifically where and how to apply it. You might be thinking, really? How difficult can it be, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that there are certainly right ways and wrong ways to apply your fragrance. But before that, I'm gonna take a moment to briefly explain to you why you should be wearing fragrance in the first place. So here's the deal, nobody likes someone who stinks, but everyone likes to be around someone who just smells amazing. And this, might be the only magic potion that will instantly boost your attractiveness and make people like you more. Now you might be thinking, okay, if one spray will make me smell good, then 20 sprays will make me smell super fantastic. And that is the first mistake. When it comes to fragrance, less is actually more, an overpowering fragrance is just as bad as a nasty body odor. You don't want to open the door and instantly everybody smells your fragrance. You want people to discover your scent when they come close to you. So keep it subtle and keep it intimate. Do not overspray. Another wrong way to apply fragrance is to do this. Now, how many of you have done this before? Be honest. You just spray it into the air and creating a sense cloud and you just walk right into it. It is not the right way because it is simply a waste of your fragrance juice. Most of the fragrance molecules will just drop right onto the floor if you do that. So you want to be specific to where you are applying your fragrance. So where should you apply your fragrance? That is a very good question. You want to apply your fragrance to your pulse points and the only pulse points that you need to remember are around your neck area, behind your ears, on your wrist, on the inner of your elbow and on your upper chest. Pulse points are areas on your body that has a little bit more blood flow so they tend to be warmer than the rest of your body and because of this heat, it's gonna help to dissipate and spread your fragrance into the air more easily. And right now, I'm gonna give you my recommendations to exactly where to spray and how to spray it. When you apply a fragrance, you don't wanna apply too close or too far away from your skin. Generally, you wanna keep the distance to around 5 to 10 centimeters or below 5 inches. For my recommended spray routine, it generally consists of 5 sprays. We are gonna have one spray behind each ear, which are the pause points, two sprays below your neck, and for guys, I advise against spraying directly onto your neck because every day if you shave, your neck area is gonna be sensitive after you shave and because of the alcohol content in the fragrance, it might irritate your neck. But for girls, it's perfectly fine if you wanna spray directly onto your neck. The last spray is behind my neck, which is another pause point and this is so that I can leave behind a very nice scent trail as I'm walking. For girls who have long hair which is covering your neck, you can go ahead and spray onto your hair directly which works wonderfully as well. So those are the 5 sprays, 2 behind your ears, 2 below your neck and 1 behind your neck. Now you might be wondering, how about the wrist? Isn't that the most common place to spray your fragrance on? Well, although it is a good place to apply your fragrance, I personally do not like applying fragrance onto my wrist and that is simply because throughout the day you will wash your hands frequently as you visit the bathroom and when you wash your hands, your fragrance will be washed off very easily. Another mistake most people make when they are spraying onto their wrist is they will spray on one wrist and they will apply it to another wrist by rubbing it to the other wrist. This rubbing motion will easily destroy the fragrance molecules and it will totally destroy the top notes of the fragrance. If you like to spray your fragrance on your wrist, what I recommend is to spray it onto your forearm or on your inner elbow instead. Now, I know you might still be wondering, how about my clothes? Can I spray onto my clothes? The answer is, Yes, you can. And actually, your clothes is a better sense carrier 
thin your skin. And if you spray onto your clothes, it's gonna last you longer. The downside of spraying onto your clothes is that it will not project as well because your clothes is not gonna have any body heat to help to dissipate and spread the fragrance. So if you spray on your skin, it will project better but not last as long. And if you wanna spray onto your clothes, it will last longer but it will not project as well. Choice is yours. And that is it for this week's video. If you find it helpful, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and as always, I will see you guys next week.